Now, impact of climate on the agriculture. Now, what we are in, uh, we are all uh, told is about the forecast about the there is likely to be a climate change. This climate change is likely to affect all the uh, living and non-living uh, creatures. And when you talk about agriculture, how it would be affect the agriculture, agriculture and its yield which is of importance is going to be seen in this particular section. Now, when you look at it, what is the potential change which can affect us? One thing is the average temperature is likely to be on a higher side that indicates there will be a lot of evaporation and evapotranspiration is possible. This may require to avoid this kind of losses, then there is a the additional water requirement is needed in this area. Then the rainfall may not be as uniform as you want to use the rainfall the, that is a wet spell and dry spell activities may not be as what you see that there is likely to be a spike in uh, high rainfall days when compared to the present day conditions. That means you get 100 millimeters or 2000 millimeters in 200 millimeters in one day and the rest of the days rest of the 10 or 15 days there may not be enough rainfall. So, that uh, what happens is one day the 200 millimeter then the crop should be able to withstand this in a severity. Now, the third one is about the extreme climate extreme that means heat waves that means heat waves which we have not experienced it as on today that could be about 4 degrees of uh, temperature variations are possible. Because of this heat waves as well as the cold waves there is a probability for a pest and diseases are likely to surface it out depending upon the climate factors. Now, another thing is about the atmospheric carbon dioxide is likely to get increased because of the burnings from the uh, fallow land areas before cultivation which they do that as well as the ground level water ozone is likely to be there. Then nutritional quality of some foods would affect the agriculture in the market related actually. Now, this is what is in general is said that it is there is likely to be a variation in these parameters. These parameters are uh, have a direct impact on the agriculture growth as well as the productivity. Now, uh, what can happen to these plants or uh, crops or the, there could be a crop phenology may be uh, disturbed and there could be droughts. What is drought? Drought is nothing but non it is a lesser rainfall and so that there is a fluctuation in the water availability to the plants as well as for the drinking water purposes for a shorter period. So, this could lead to crop failures or stunted crop plants. So, where it will lead in this thing is one is the productivity of agriculture products that is either it may be in quantity that means not much share of area is able to produce and the quantity what we are expecting from a region is reduced. So, that it may lead to some importing activity and the quality of the crops may be down. So, that is the one thing regarding to productivity. Then agriculture practices normally here we are concerned right now is about the irrigation as well as there will be some insecticides and herbicides need to be added. So, the some of them pesticides may be a resistant by them. So, we may have to find a alternative things before that. So, that is what the agriculture practices are that. Then in the environmental aspect what could be the problem is the frequency as well as intensity of soil drainages erosion and as well as erosion is likely to be there heavily because of the high intensity rainfall that is the wherein the fertility of the particular soil is being removed from that area then again and again you may have to give supplements like fertilizers. Okay. Whereas, the another is on the rural areas it could be a cultivated lands loss or gain of cultivated lands and also speculations for a selling for a growth purposes where they, they may be of importance and in their own livelihood. Now, what is the thing which we may have to do is we have to adopt flood resistant that means excess periods and there could be a salt resistance varieties. Salt resistance is possible because of the soil salinity 
areas. These are all the things which may or which are likely to affect the agriculture in general. So, how it could be done is like the same uh, Gattaprabha region try to make it up. So, there could be some water supply say what we tried to do was and in the, this entire small basin has been taken up. What is the water availability which we have said it is estimated by the SWAT model and what is the water demand which we have done it is by the is for the crop, crop area, crop type and as well as human uh, requirements everything is added. So, what is the supply, what is the demand, so how much will be the deficit that is how this particular information is derived and then show it to you is by this way there is going to be a major problems in some of the areas where whereas some of the areas they will be having some problem which are very less in this particular portion. This is for the 2030 and how then the your question comes the how do you know the demand is going to be less. It is based on the 2, 3 decadal growth pattern has been taken out in this for this purpose. So, here what is the deficit excess is going to be is predicted in this way there is going to be a 0.1 to 1 percentage of TMC reduction is possible in this grey areas. So, these are all the areas where the command area these are all the cultivated irrigation related the canal based cultivation lands are available. So, if the canal based irrigation is not available then there is a tendency to go for a ground water. If you go for a ground water then there will be a ground water level will come down as well as the quality issues changes. That is what is expected that is what is given as a for a planning purposes this map is this information is generated using a GIS method. The actual ground level information that needs to be validated and checked before it is being implemented as a policy management activities. Okay. Now, in this section what we have tried to do was and what is the in general agriculture depends on water in a bigger way and if it is in a bigger way now what is the systems um, functionality whether it is functioning normal whether it is functioning below expectation and whether do we have enough storages for our growth and if it is not there where to do it and how to do it in the same demand and supply under a different or changed environmental uh, climatic conditions are being done on a large scale basis. But if it is a large scale basis see reservoirs are the source for an agriculture in a village or in a plot. But whereas unless there is a water in the reservoir so the individual farmers are done. So, if it is done on a farm level it is done on a large scale level. So, that large scale availability non availability will decide about the crop yield and crop production from that zone which is dependent for the food security purposes can be managed in a with a with a concrete information from the different groups. Thank you.